All right, so in this problem, ladies and gentlemen, I have 5 divided by 6x minus 18 minus x minus 1 divided by 4x squared minus 14x plus 6. All right, now, remember, we have to have the exact same variable factors, right? C we have to have the exact same variable factors. C. Um, I'm sorry. We have to have at least the common denominators. Do these denominators look exactly the same? No. 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 Right? And they don't even look anywhere close to being exactly the same. All right? Now, however, though, I'll give you guys a little hint. All right? If they're going to ask us to subtract them, more than likely, you can say that they're probably going to be a factor of one another, meaning that this is probably a factor of the other one. It doesn't have to be, but for the sake of saving you a lot of time, let's assume that it's a factor and see if we can find out what the other factor is. So anyways, I'm going to want to factor this out because if I can write it as a product of its factors, it will make a little bit more sense. So just like when we did multiplying and dividing, if you have polynomials or binomials, let's factor them out, right? So here I have 4x squared minus 14x plus 6. So now what we're going to have to do is factor that out. So let's see if we can factor it out. And when we factor it out, let's assume 6x minus 18 is a factor. Or let's not assume that it's a factor right now. Um, because actually it's not. Well, actually, let's assume, and I'll show you what I mean. OK, could 6x minus 18 be a factor? No. It could, but that means your other factors are going to have to be a very fraction, small number, because you have to multiply 18 times something to give you 6, right? Yes? OK. Now, however, I could simplify this. Can I factor out a 6x minus 18? Yep, it can be 6x times. So I could use an x minus 3. So that could be a possible factor. But as, if I was going to factor this, what would be the first thing I'd want to do? Factor out the CEF. Oh, GCF, greatest contractor. So if I factor out a 2, I'm left with 2x squared minus 14, I'm sorry, minus 7x plus 3. Yes? No. Okay. Um, so now what I can do is say, what two numbers multiply to give me negative, to give me positive 3? So if I know this is 2x, then I know that this has to be um, 2x, and this has to be x. So now I need to figure out what two numbers multiply to give me 3. It's either plus 3 and 1 or negative 3 and negative 1, right? But since I know, ladies and gentlemen, that this is a negative middle term. I know the two factors have to be negative 3 and negative 1, right? Yes. And if I multiply 2, to get to 7, I'm going to have to multiply 2 times 3. So that means this is going to have to be x minus 3, and that would have to be x minus 1. Because if I swap those, 2 times negative 1 would give me negative 2, and x times negative uh, 3 would give me negative 3. That would give me negative 5, but I need negative 7. So therefore, I can get to it. And F, FYI, do you guys notice there's that factor there? x minus 3, right? Wow. Yeah, same factor. So now let's rewrite this in factored form. So I have 5 over 6 times x minus 3 minus x minus 1 over 2 times 2x two minus 1 times x minus 3. Yeah. Ooh, now we have it written in our factored form. Okay? And as you guys can see this, now we, what we want to do is start writing out our LCM. So, least common multiple for our denominator. So what do they share? They both share a what? X minus 3. All right? But what about, let's look at the numbers. What is the largest number that both 6 and 2 divide into? Actually, I should have wrote that first. All right? Then, what else do they have that maybe they share or they don't share? Well, 2x minus 1, right? So what do I need to multiply over here to get it to be 2x minus 1? 2x minus 1. So the LCM is 2x minus 1. Therefore, all I need to do is I need to make sure I multiply to get both denominators to be 6 times x minus 3 times 2x minus 1. So let's work on the left side here real quick. So on the left side, I have 6 times x minus 3, but what do I need to multiply then to make it look like my LCM? 2x minus 1. And remember, you need to multiply on the top and bottom. So what does that mean? 
Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Then over here, over here, what I'm going to have is I need to multiply. So I already have the two x minus one. I already have the x minus three, but I need to get the two to be a six. So I need to multiply by eight. Three, three. Okay. So now let's simplify our numerator and then see what we're, and then our denominator is going to be our least common multiple. So therefore we'll have 5 times 2x minus 1 minus 3 times x minus 1 divided by 6, 2x minus 1 times x minus 3. Yes? No? No? Yes? Okay. Yes. Yes. Um, so now, let's uh, go ahead and simplify this. on this? No, sir? Good? So if you guys, you know, kind of understand this, all we're simply doing is just like our adding and subtracting, 